link mm -hmm. at last. They're called Stalnox. And yeah, they're around the map. I've seen, I've been, I've fought like three of them in three different locations now. You just got to kind of find them, but they're around. Let's do it. Oh, I have to activate the not Stargate. What the heck is that thing? A Muktorok. It's a squid boy. This strange creature must be responsible. What? He has a mud shark? Get ready. Let's go, Lee. <laughs> He's running. Get over here. Beat him down. Oh my god. He's getting destroyed. He's already at half. I think that hit him. How about some splash fruits? Oh, you didn't care about that. Okay, phase two. All right, all right, there's stuff everywhere now. I need you. Come here. Swimming through the sludge. Okay. Then let's do this. Get this stuff out of here. Who needs Sidon's ability? I brought a fire hydrant. Oh, stamina. He's a vistage. Hit him with the big sword. 
You freaking cheeser, stop going in that sludge! Oh, I can't move! Hold still! He went over here! You freaking cheeser! Get back over here! The hammer is about to break, not good. It's fine if it breaks. Okay, let's make another one. Let's use the Master Sword. I should have made a second Fire Hydrant weapon. We need this. And... Fire Hydrant attached to the Master Sword. Let's go. There is Sidon. These things. Oh, I forgot to take a picture of him. Whoops. Sidon of the Zora. You combined forces with Sidon to defeat the monster producing the sludge. What remained of the substance is first, taking the threat to Zora along with it. Sidon was left gazing at the strange stone that appeared when the sludge vanished. Shoot, I forgot to take a picture of the monster, the boss. My cherished kin. That voice again. You're the one we've been hearing this whole time. Indeed. I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a Zora warrior and a sage who, like you, could direct the flow of water. You are the pride of the Zora. Your fluid, graceful movements as you fight. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You bested the monster that sullied our domain, but it was a servant of a greater evil, the Demon King. 
His true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining the stone that you just found. My secret stone. That stone that you are wearing? Yes, and it is important you know more about the stone and the Demon King. So listen closely to what I have to say. It concerns the imprisoning war and the destiny of our people. Though we Zora live long lives, this all happened in a time ancient even to us. The kingdom of Hyrule was still in its infancy. A great evil. The Demon King appeared. He invaded Hyrule and sought to cut the new kingdom's time short. But Ravu, the first king of Hyrule, brought me and five other warriors together to oppose him. To fight the Demon King, Ravu entrusted us with secret stones. Treasured artifacts that amplify the power of those who carry them. As the Sage of Water, I bore a secret stone and fought alongside my fellow sages in battle. However, the Demon King's power was overwhelming. Even my strongest defenses could not stop his ferocious attacks. In the end, our leader realized it would not be possible to defeat the Demon King outright. He chose to end the battle by sealing the Demon King away, sacrificing himself in the process. So that was the imprisoning war. Some time later, another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me and the destiny of the Zora was made crystal clear. The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that happens, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. We must help. Lend him your power. He will need the Zora's control over water. The course of the Zora's future was clear. It would be our honor to aid in defeating the Demon King. I swear to you that, when the great evil returns, the Zora Sage of Water will awaken once more. The Zora people and their sage will fight alongside your swordsman. That is everything there is to share of the imprisoning war and of the destiny of the Zora. Zora's domain is once again safe thanks to you. However, the Demon King continues to threaten all of Hyrule. Sidon, my cherished kin, you must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time. Fight alongside the Swords of Link. It's my destiny to fight by your side. I came here so that I could save Sora's domain. But it looks like all of Hyrule will need my help. I'll do all I can, just as my ancestor did. I will accept this secret stone. I am the Sage of Water. Behold, this is my new power. Ah! Hear me. 
your hand. I, Sidon, the Sage of Water, swear that I will fight by your side. Please accept this. It is proof of my vow. Sick. With that ring, you will always have my power with you. We're partnered up again. Yes. All right. Let's head back home. That's cool. Ghost Sidon actually looks really sick. During the one month before Tears of the Kingdom came out, I sped run 100% of Breath of the Wild. I can't wait to play it. We're I'm definitely going to play it at some point in the future. There's a lot of good games coming out there. I want to play Diablo 4. I want to play Baldur's Gate 3 and Starfield. There's a lot of good games coming out. But I do want to play Breath of the Wild at some point for sure. Personally, I love Sidon. He's just a cool Zora. That is cool. Zidon is really cool. I like him too. He's cool. Shark boy. He's our shark friend. Oh. It's Link Shark Bro. Shark Bros unite. Swim in the waters for Hyrule. It's a giant goldfish. Link, welcome back. Link, have you seen... The sludge has vanished without a trace. Link, thanks to your courage, the inhabitants of Zora's domain are safe once again. No words could express the depths of my gratitude. Thank you, hero. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. As for you, Sidon. Though Link certainly played a key role, your own efforts to save the domain were nothing short of magnificent. I have always believed in you, Sidon. Now you have unequivocally proven your worthiness to bear the crown. Oh, he's being upgraded from prince to king. That is why I shall joyously take this opportunity to pass the throne to you. Father, this is so sudden. No, it only seems that way. In truth, it has been heavy on my mind for some time. Sidon, my son. It is time to ascend the throne as the new king. Take Yona's hand and as one lead Zora's domain to a brighter tomorrow. Me? The king? Ooh, he's the king of the Zora! Dot dot dot. Thank you, father. I will not let you down, I swear it. That is the spirit, my boy. <laughs> now, accept your place among the upon the throne. The finest swordsman in all of Hyrule shall bear witness to this momentous occasion. Oh, is there going to be a, a coronation? Silence, everyone. Oh, he has a crown and everything. Sick. I hereby inherit this crown from my father. 
the exalted Dorafan. From this woman on, I shall be king of the Zora. <laughs> At this same precious moment, I ask that you also open your hearts to your new queen, my beloved Yona. She said, sure. <laughs> sure, I'll be your queen. Sure. Why not? I've got nothing else to do. Sure. The slush spreads us no more. We are once again free to swim through crystal waters beneath azure skies without fear. We could not have achieved this without our dear King Sidon, our heroic Sir Link, and all of us who call the domain home. I am so proud and so very grateful to count myself among the Zora of the Domain. However, that does not mean that all matters have been resolved. Ah. Right you are, my love. So long as darkness lurks in the depths of Hyrule, this peace we have fought so hard for could vanish like a bubble on a needle. We shall not allow that. It is now time for the Zora to help Link prevail. Everyone. I ask that you lend him your strength. <laughs> Doing just that shall be the first task that I add, that I and my partner in life and in leadership shall undertake as your king and queen. <laughs> Huzzah! Long live the king and queen. Is Yona the granddaughter of the green dude behind? The granddaughter of the green dude. I'm not sure. I don't know the, the lineage and the lore. It's been a long time since I played a Zelda game. And I did not play Breath of the Wild. So I'm pretty behind on the lore. First things first, my friend. Regarding the whereabouts of Princess Zelda. When I obtained the secret stone, we saw a vision of that woman, the Sage of Time. I am certain it was far more than a passing resemblance. That was the Princess Zelda whom you and I know so well. As for the Princess Zelda who appeared in the Domain and Tack Father, could it be that the princess we saw in my ancestor's era and the one my father saw in this era are not one and the same? Hmm, questions upon questions. It is painfully clear that we have no choice but to find the princess and ask her directly. Link, as I have just ascended the throne, I offer, I must offer my sincerest apologies for being unable to accompany you. Still, I shall continue gathering information about our lost princess. Please promise that you shall once again grace our fair Zora's domain with your presence sooner rather than later. <laughs> Whatever comes to pass, know that you and I will always be connected by the power of a sage, no less. Vow of Sidon, Sage of Water. Proof of the Vow of Sidon, Sage of Water. Use it to summon or dismiss the Avatar of Sidon. That's what they're called. They're called Avatars of the Sages, not Ghost. <laughs> I've been calling them Ghost. <laughs> okay, Regional Phenomenon updated. Main Quest update. Poro suggested investigating... There's only one more region that is suffering under a strange phenomenon. Okay, and that is... Where? Over here. Alright, well, we got a long way to go from there. So we're going to keep walking the roads and just getting into whatever shenanigans we're going to get into. We're going to head down here, unlock the tower, head down here, unlock the tower, and we're going to make our way along the roads until we reach this place. And we'll keep unlocking all the towers, doing shrines until we reach the next main quest. Let's talk to them again. Let's start with the current king, your majesty Sidon. Link, it seems the time has come for you to resume your heroic travels once again. I will continue seeking out information on our vanished Princess Zelda. You have my word. I'm quite certain that the search for the princess will not be easy. Such important endeavors never are, are they? But no matter what transpires, now that I am always with you, 
Know that I am always with you. Should you ever have need of me, simply ask and I shall appear. Oh, I think I'm too close to him. Link, words alone cannot express the depths of my gratitude for you. Though I am certain that your travels will continue, know that you have the full support of the Zora, now and always. Hmm. If there is anything I can do to aid you, please do not hesitate to ask me. Can you give me more King Scales? Hmm. hmm. Seems you have not exhausted your supply. Please return when you run out. Okay, never mind. What's next for you? Hmm. Well, now that my boy King Sidon has ascended the throne... I shall watch over the little ones and otherwise do as I please. Such is the privilege of a retired king. Once this world of ours has overcome these dangers, perhaps it would be fun to drag Muzu along on a tour of Hyrule. Is there anything else you would like to ask of me? Farewell. And let's talk to Muzu. Oh, they have a quest. Ah, Link, you've done it. With your help, King Sidon has realized the full potential and become a worthy successor. I can now leave Zora's domain free of concern. It is inarguably in good hands. As it were, I have been tasked with joining Pura as a representative of the domain. Oh, so he's going to be the representative for the Zora in Not King's Landing. I look forward to joining my efforts with those of our brave Zora soldiers. Oh, so we'll be seeing him around Lookout Landing now. Cool. Somebody has a quest here. In summation, and to repeat myself as an attendant of the Queen Yona, it is paramount to demonstrate more self-awareness. At all times and in every circumstance, she must behave in a way that is in no danger of reflecting poorly on her. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Ah, Sir Link. Yes, it is I. Sir Link. Hi. Where are my manners? I was not quick to notice you had graced your presence. I am terribly sorry. <laughs> Honestly, and for the reason is your lack of progress, the task I'm entrusted with. The Zora Helm. Okay. So I have the Ice Helm and the Fire Helm. So there is a Water Helm also. The elephant looking helmet. And it's out there somewhere in this region. The Zora Helm we are to present to Sir Link seems to be stored in a skyfish. Queen Yona kindly provided you with that helpful information that you have done nothing with it. A skyfish. <laughs> yes, that is so. I desperately searched the river for the fish that ate the Zora Helm. It got eaten by a fish? But I returned empty-handed. Pure silliness. It is unlikely the Zora Helm was placed in the actual fish's stomach. I suspect you should be thinking of the skyfish as a metaphor leading to the place where the helm is hidden. Oh no. Do I have to go back up to the skyfish and look around for a cave? You never listen closely to my guidance, which often results in these ridiculous misunderstandings. Help me, Sir Link. The never ending lecture. Okay, what is that? It seems that Chroma and Kira are looking for the Zora helm in order to thank you for saving their domain. Apparently, a rest within a skyfish, but. What could that be referring to? Well, I mean, we know there's a fish-shaped island up here. Maybe it's up there now? That's something that we can look into. I'll look into that later. Okay, we can take off our OP stuff now. Put on some cool stuff. Let's keep using this bow. I like this bow. And, all right, let's walk around town and see if there are any new quests, any new updates. Oh, it looks so nice now with all the sludge. Apparently, there's a blacksmith around here somewhere who I have not met yet. Let's try to find him. I looked for him last time, but I didn't see him. Oh, this is the stone dude. Ah, Link, it is good to see you. I am, after all, in your debt for repairing the stone slate. Thanks to your efforts, sludge disappeared. I cannot possibly thank you enough. Oh. Hmm, speaking of that, Queen Yona mentioned she would like to gift you a token of gratitude. It's no business of mine, but I do encourage you to hear what she has to say. Okay, so we need to find Queen Yona somewhere. 
and talk to her. It sounds like she has a gift and maybe a quest. Last time we met her, she was down here. <clears throat> I'll protect him. Oh my god, this kid. Cute! My mom asked me to help. My brother is a little bit unreliable, so... We've got to keep an eye on him. Keep that between us, okay? <laughs> the King Sidon! He's so cool. It's so cool to see how everything has changed. And everyone is like happy now and they're playing tomatoes, splash fruits. I don't need that. What's this? Swift, violet. I have one. Sure, you know what? I'll buy them all. Maybe I'll need these later for something. Just I'll buy them and hoard them. What is rice? We're good on that. Don't need air. I have 300 arrows. I don't need these salmon. I have a lot of those bass. Don't need this stuff. Okay, this guy has a quest. What's up? Yeah. This is our general store, the Coral <laughs> Reef. We finally able to restock thanks to his majesty. You really helped out in a pinch. Oh, oh unless you have some other business. Uh, crabs? <laughs> oh, perhaps I'm doing a sufficient job of hiding my overpowering feelings about bright-eyed crabs. Oh. Okay. I was unable to stock up on any fish because of the damage caused by the sludge. It was a single glorious crab. It crossed my path while I was fussing and fuming. Mm. I sw He swallowed a whole crab. Okay. <sighs> yes, the spikes were incredibly paid for, I imagine. But once I was able to transcend the pain, there was magic waiting me. Oh my god. Uh, no more of it greeting my warm umami goodness. Positively drooling, thinking about it. One or two is not enough. You want ten bright-eyed crabs. <laughs> I think I have that, actually. Do I, I've been collecting those crabs. Do I have ten crabs? I know I have a decent amount. I have eight. Okay. So, I need a couple more. Alright, well, we'll get them eventually at some point. And we'll come back. So, you have come. Yes, I have. Yeah. Dento. Link, once again you have done Zora's Domain a great service. Thanks to your efforts of you and our young King Sidon, the domain has been saved. You must allow me to thank you. Oh. Link, you tend to go up against the various phenomena plaguing the world. You will need a weapon that is up to the task. Ah. The light scale trident. Oh, this must be their legendary weapon. Has been passed down through the generations of Azora. It will not fail you. Bring me the necessary materials and I will craft one. Okay, what do you need? You must acquire Azora spear. Oh, I had one of those and then I yeeted it off a cliff. <laughs> Awkward. I had one of those. It's gone now. Okay. So if I find another Zora Spear, I'll bring it back to him. I should have the diamonds. Last I checked, I had like seven diamonds. And I probably only had more since then. Where are my, my diamonds? Diamonds are the limiting factor, really. I just got to find that spear, which... We could probably find it, like if I googled it. There's got to be a chest somewhere that is guaranteed to have this spear. I have so much stuff here, man. I got milk... And dark clumps. Maybe we can make chocolate milk if I combine them. <laughs> uh, diamonds. I have nine. Okay, plenty. And I have like something like 80 flint. So we just need this spear then. If I find this spear, we can craft it. Alright. So apparently the queen has something. We have to find her. She's around here somewhere. Let's turn off this quest for now. And actually, let's save. I haven't hard saved since we killed that dude. Let's save now. 
All right, where is the queen? She's got to be like in the palace area somewhere. Maybe up here and I just missed her. I would have thought she would have been here with him, but she's not. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll look around for her for a couple minutes. If we don't see her, I'll come back to it another time. Oh, here she is. Oh, Sir Link, thank you ever so much for your noble efforts. I have been earnestly pondering what I could possibly do to thank you for saving the domain. However, Jehoto found some ancient texts that mention the Zora Greaves. It is said that those who wear them are gifted the power to swim in the water as they please. I am certain that such an item would be invaluable if you're in your quest to locate Princess Zelda. I told Sidon and everyone in the domain that I hope to present this special gift to you. However, the Greaves in question have still not been located. According to the text Jehoto found, the Zora Greaves were created long ago. They were offered up at the ancient Zora Masterworks as a prayer for friendship between the Zora and the Helians. Upon hearing that, I desperately searched for them, but was unable to locate. I wonder where in the waterworks the Zora Greaves were offered. Okay, uh, a token of friendship. What does it show me where the, okay, it at least shows me where to go. And then I guess when you go here, you're going to have to solve a puzzle to get them. Uh, okay, well, maybe. Let's keep looking around, see if anybody has any other quests. And then we're going to skedaddle and keep on progressing towards the next quest location. Here we go. Loading place. I'm sure that is what I heard. Link, how wonderful. You heard me talking to myself, didn't you? Since you are here, I must ask you something a bit odd. Have you heard anything about a floating place? Oh. Here's my tale. When my dear wife, May, went out fishing, she was singing this mysterious song. Mm -hmm. I found a floating place where I'll catch fish with grace. I hop and a skip to a great floating fishing trip. And with that, my wife hopped and skipped over to the bridge in the east of the domain. At that time, I paid no heed. She's given to songs of fancy. Oh. Okay. I dearly hope she has not gotten into something dangerous. A wife wafted away. <laughs> he lost his wife. What the heck? How do you lose your wife, sir? And it doesn't show me where to go. It put the quest marker on the guy who gave me the quest. Well, we're never going to find his wife. She's just going to be lost forever. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Maybe at some point I'll Google where she is, but we're never going to find her. All right. So let's start heading towards the next quest progression. I want to get the um, towers in these areas. I already found the tower here. So let's go back there and do whatever it is we need to do to unlock it for this place. Oh, I can't fast travel here. Well, hell, man. Damn. All right, let's go here. Let's start unlocking these places. So the plan is to unlock the Skyview Towers, and then we're going to take the road from Zora's Domain into each of the towers until they lead to like a major location. Usually there are cities, like when I took the road from Death Mountain, from the town here, I took this road. We went along this way, and through here, and we reached 
Uh, no, we made it to Terrytown. Okay, I forgot how I got to Terrytown. We took a road. I think I went this way along the road to Terrytown. And then that's how I got my house. And then we followed the road that way to Zora's Domain. So for now, we're going to unlock this so we can actually see where the heck the roads are and what the topography looks like. Let's see. Welcome. Sidon's vow has granted you the power to summon his avatar. Welcome, boys. Oh, we got like a whole RPG party. I can combine powers. With our powers combined, we are unstoppable men. Forward! Oh, man. This is... I'm not going to have to do any fighting. They're going to kill everything for me. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, you guys do all the fighting. I'll just collect the loot. That bird. Get him. Attack. Kill these birds. I need their parts. Oh, there's some strong dudes over there. If I go over there, we're going to have to fight them. Okay, let's just leave. <laughs> My avatar friends are not strong enough to kill those guys. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. These parts are great for killing the, um, the Gleecocks. Whatever they're called. Oh, where's the loot? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Is there more? Shoot, I think they're gone. Well, we got a nice chunk of that. I probably should have shot the second block when I had the chance. Yeah, next time. All right, let's figure out how to do this thing then. I think it wanted me to go into a cave. What's up, bunny? Give me some money. Bunny! Money! You! He's a dog. He's gone. Oh yeah, here. Okay, here's the cave it was talking about. Okay, so this is what we needed. All right, free bomb activate. Let's put on this thing. Where's my bomb? Come, Yunobo. You have one job. Break the rocks. I've been waiting for Yunobo. Break these freaking rocks. Ooh. And now I collect the treasure. He does all the work and I get the reward. <laughs> As it should be. Well, this is like a extended cavern system. I see. Come here. Okay. Oh! Wait. The little dude. We're not going to miss him this time. I'm charging up the Master Sword. No, you don't. He got away again. How does he keep getting away? You freaking... He's gone again. Well, awkward. Give me the loot. I hear something moving. Oh, what's up? Where's the Massa sword? Massa, let's go. Beat him with water.
Master Sword is busted. Let's use... Let's use one of these spears. It's been a minute since I've used a spear. What the heck? There's yet another rock wall here. I mean, there are a lot of rock walls in this place. Okay, let's see where this rock wall goes. Oh, there's stuff up here, too. Oh, there's a chest. Shield of the Mind's Eye. Whoa, this thing looks cool. A small Sheikah made shield. Its design is intended to decrease blind spots without sacrificing too much defense. Uh, okay. Well, I need a picture of it. It looks like a Yiga clan. The Yiga clan thing. We'll take this one instead. All right, Yonobo, let's go. Oh, is it just... Oh no, this is a different... Okay, so I get this was just an alternate entrance you could take in to get in this place. So I think what you have to do is find the sweet spot and then ascend into the tower. Okay, so let's go back in and we'll try ascending to from different places and see which one takes me up into the tower. It's got to be the one that's like right under it on the mini map. So let's look for a spot that's close, if not right under it. Like right about here. Right here. Let's try this. We're in. Activate. What do you mean, no? Oh, it's been wedged shut. Is this why? Somebody put sticks here? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Was it the sticks? It was the sticks blocking the door. Wow. Sticks. Just just sticks. Never underestimate the power of a good stick. I can't believe sticks caused it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I wonder if those were in there to begin with. No. Somebody put the sticks there. All right. Skyview Tower is unlocked. So I need to keep an eye out for shooting stars. I need one more shooting star and I can finish upgrading the hero set. I want to run around in the hero set. At least I can finish getting it to level two. 
We'll need the great fairies to get higher levels beyond that. But right now I could do level two at most. This looks, that thing looks interesting on the bottom right there. That Sky Island. Can I make it to that Sky Island? This one looks interesting. Maybe. Hard to tell if it's above me or below me. I think it's that one. No, this is something different. Ooh, there's a Zonai device there. What's this one? I don't have that one. Hmm. If there's a Zonai device, there's usually a shrine. I'm looking for the green, my green marker. I think I'm too far away. Oh, I see. Okay, let's head over to this island then. This looks like the place where you can get maybe the glide armor. It looks, it reminds me of the glide armor challenge areas. It could be something else entirely. Just see you, Shrine. Seek the crystal, okay? The North Nakluda Sky Crystal is where? It's on that island. I see it. Okay. So we need to build some sort of something that can get me over there. Have a traveling claymore. Nice. Yeah. There it goes. <laughs> can I move this? I think you can. Yeah, these things you can move around. And it, it like rotates something. Wait, something's being rotated. I can't see. Oh, you. Okay. Old. Let's see. Ah, uh, it didn't stop it. I missed both. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay. I don't have a weapon. And the Master Sword is recharging. Okay. Let's get a weapon. Let's use this thing. My Skull Sword. Some nuts. Some mushrooms. Anything else around here? Any Koroks or anything like that? Let's get the crystal. Crystal me this. Let's 
So let's just put it here and see what happens. Can I time rewind it again? No, I didn't think so. You can only do it once. Okay. So then we have to go back over there. Tooling OP. Spin it. Around. Come on. Spin it around. Wait, right there, right there. Yes. That'll do. So this should be like the other shrine, the other, um, <laughs> we're just going to drop it to loot. It's fine. It's fine. It's a crystal. It can survive. This must be like the other fetch the crystal shrines where the puzzle is fetching the crystal and now we just get a light blessing. That animation is so cool. How long until the Master Sword is ready again? Another two and a half minutes. Okay. So we'll just run around with this sword until it's ready. I need to repair my my other weapons though. I'll do that off stream. That's like an off stream thing. Nobody wants to watch me run around getting those things repaired. Raru's blessing, just see you shrine. Nice, I'll take it. Let's skip. Okay, one more and I can get another heart. I have max stamina. So the only upgrades now are hearts. I converted all of my hearts that I had before into stamina and I went down to like something like six hearts. And since then we've managed to get a bunch of shrines, mostly off stream. I've been grinding shrines off stream, getting my hearts up again. And I think we're just gonna, we're gonna keep the three wheels of stamina. Having those extra, the stamina, man, it's just so good. Having the stamina, like, yeah, going from one wheel of stamina to three, it's like a whole new world, man. It's like a new game now. I don't want to go back to one wheel of stamina. I want to stay on three. Okay, so it looks like if I can get to that, I can... Dolphin swim up it. Let's try. And then I want to go to that place over there. So maybe from this I can get up there. I think if I get up there, I can definitely, I could build a glider. And the glider will definitely get me up there. So let's try it. Let's get my, my dolphin shirt. And let's go. Oh, wait. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Me up. Before we leave, I forgot something here. There's a device dispenser, and I forgot to see what it has. Where was that device dispenser? 
Oh, there's a yeeter here. Wait, this is even better. We can use the yeeter. Okay, let's see what this has. Where are my Zonai things? Here they are. What do you have, sir? Spring bomb cannon. Spring bomb cannon and wings. Okay. We'll try a couple more. We'll do one more after this. Fifteen. Okay, so it has cannon, wings, springs, and time bombs. All right, good to know. And this thing, wait, with this is, we can yeet myself over to that waterfall now. It's also aiming me up to that one. I'll come back and explore these islands off stream. These islands take up a big chunk of time. I really just want the one that gives armor, which I think is that one. It looks like that's where you get the last glide suit, piece of the glide suit from. The Master Sword is ready. Bone Saw is ready. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Come on. Good. I'm going to reach the tip. Just, I just need the tip. I have to touch the tip. Oh no, we got, we're, we're fine. Assuming I can dolphin up this, we're fine. Don't know if I can. It is a waterfall. And that's the whole point of the Zora armor. Oh, let's go. What the heck? You maniac. You stop that right now. Oh, so that's how you get up. Your savage lion bow is badly damaged. Okay. Let's swap to the other one then. I have two. Let's use this one. Okay, so that's how you get up there. Rockets and that thing. Okay, cool. We can get up. What's in this pond? A duck? Wait, come back here. Smile for the camera. Did I get it? Oh, nice. Bright-chested duck. Any fairies up here? I don't see any. Take. Oh, sneaky snail. Okay. Some stamina plants, those are always nice. Anything else of interest in this pond? Some frogs. Is there a chest in the water? A good way to tell is to go into the camera and you can look around. If the camera finds a chest, it will tell you. It'll highlight the chest. There's a fish. 
What kind of fish? In ancient Arona, Aruana, okay. There it is, there is a treasure chest right there. Man, I have a lot of X marks of spots in the depths. That's off stream. All those, I think they should all be armor pieces. Those are all armor sets. So yeah, we'll do that off stream. Okay, for now, let's do this thing. I'm pretty sure this looks like the last challenge you need for the Zora or the, um, the, uh, not Zora armor, the flight armor, the tidy glides. Where's my poking stick? Here you are. Poke it. Up. I see. That's as high as you're going to get me, huh? Oh, really? I think not, sir. We go up again. I only have 19 rockets. Meh. Well, don't throw that. <laughs> Jeez. I almost threw it. No, no, don't tip. Okay, let's put this back over here. Let's grab this bow. And then do this with it. Bye. Launch me. Okay, that should be enough. With Tulin, I can definitely get to the top. Let's go, Tulin. <laughs> 